Greetings and welcome to the Vortex. I'm your host, Daniel Allen Jones, and we are here at a very special, very secret location here at Groom Lake, Nevada, right off of Extraterrestrial Highway. We are indeed at Area 51. Due to the popularity of information that has surfaced about Area 51, people have come from all over the world to check this place out right here to find out what's going on with UFOs, aliens, secret bases, and government projects. It's happened to catch so much attention that the city is officially named Highway 375 Extraterrestrial Highway, which is pretty incredible to think that while in some places this could cause some unwanted attention, right here it seems to be working out just fine, bringing people in, from all across the world, trying to check out what's going on with Area 51, and maybe just getting a glimpse of something that's a little bit out of this world. Looks like we have a, a tractor up ahead. Wonder what they're up to. Yep. Seems like uh, they're doing some construction, and let's see what's going on with that. Get an idea about what's going on over here at uh, Area 51 construction. Let's see what's going on with it. Let's see. It's coming out. We got two tractor guys. They're coming out here. Two tractor guys coming out. Let's see what's going on, man. See. Let's go talk to him. He keeps pulling that way. He wants me to leave, but we need to see why. He doesn't want me to go to this way, but you know. something you don't see every day. Let's keep at it. What's going to go all the way there? Let's just go ahead and keep going. This is public property, public road. You can go over here.
as you can see the signs behind me show that there are things that you can do and it looks like there's a truck up there and he might be ready to come pull down here he's just uh coming up to the ridge looks like he's pulling back a bit well area 51 is known as area 51 because that's the name of the plot of land here in nevada groom lake is a dry lake bed near papoose lake and another name for area 51 is also dreamland and s4 so it looks like the truck pulled back i don't think they want to be here on camera looks like that's a common theme but as you can see behind me you've got the two signs camera he's probably got sensors you have all these different things going on here it seems like they do a pretty good job of monitoring everything that's going on they probably have audible detectors as well uh, if we see the truck start to come we'll just keep in mind that uh, we have not passed the boundary we're still on public ground and we're not doing anything illegal uh, so let's go ahead and get a little bit closer and take a look at what's going on up here you can see that that's the mound up there ahead where they park up and they just monitor everyone coming by making sure no one's doing anything crazy uh, and just trying to protect this secret military installation that we call area 51. Uh, the big proponent that popularized Area 51 is, of course, Bob Lazar from the 80s, and reporter George Knapp helped break some of those stories and helped us find out about what's going on here. And then since that's happened, we talk about the possibility of reverse engineering alien technology and many different types of uh, back engineering capabilities that may be going on right over here, perhaps underground, there could be any number of different experimental aircraft being produced. Uh, we already know that that has taken place with the Blackbird and the Stealth Bomber. So it definitely seems like there's something going on here. And it's really important that we keep in mind that this isn't a place you can just go run off and keep heading off in that direction. You want to make sure that you stay right here because if you pass that line, they can and they will shoot you. And that's not something you want to happen. There are signs here that say uh, it's the U.S. Air Force installation, and that, that gives us an idea about what may be involved. The interesting thing, though, is that it's rumored that President Eisenhower threatened to invade Area 51 right here with the Army. So while this may be an Air Force installation, the Army was considering through, of course, President Eisenhower to come and invade to see what's going on, to see what was going on here at Area 51. They wanted to know, even people in government, even people like President Eisenhower, they wanted to know what was happening because it was uh, outside of their clearance level. They didn't have a need to know. So it's really interesting to consider the possibilities of what's going on here. Again, we're at the front entrance. You can see both of the signs right here. And it's just one of the things that we gotta be very careful about because there are a lot of barbed wire fences here, a lot of the razor wire, you do not wanna cross that line. It's gonna be something you wanna be very careful about. So just keep in mind that this is not just a fun place to go and do anything really. You pretty much can just look at it and that's about it. A lot of people have written about Area 51 quite extensively, but it's something that, you know, we have to wait until there's more disclosure on this subject, until things are declassified, until we find out from a governmental and military point of view what's been happening. We need to have some things disclosed about what this military installation is, what's been going on, how many levels there are, are there extraterrestrials here? Um, so what's been going on here? This is a really important question that we need to ask ourselves because this is being kept from the public. And even though defense secrecy is a real and important issue, we also have to keep in mind that some of these things um, are worth looking into. And so once again, we have to keep in mind that we won't know if we don't go. So here we are, Area 51. Camo dudes don't like being on film, but you know, if something happens, they're ready to take action at any moment. So they're just doing their part, you know. Might have been construction up ahead. It makes me wonder, you know, down the road, coming down here, Area 51, Groom Lake Road, you've got construction workers clearing out the road, getting the gravel smoothed out. How does one do construction for Area 51? How do you get that job? Pretty interesting. All right, we got a car coming down the road pretty quick. Looks like it might be the camo dudes. Uh, don't know what they're gonna do, but hopefully we can just get out here safe and sound. Let's see if we can get by them without anything crazy going on. Here we go. Headed 
they are. That's them. That's them right there. That was something. They just kept going. It doesn't look like they're gonna turn around. That's them there. He's kind of pulling off to the side. You see that? Pulling over to the side. It's a. Uh, going that way. Maybe we can ask him uh, if they respond to anything. Let's try it out. Uh, let's see. Let's go to this next guy down here. This guy's trying to back up and turn around, I think. Doesn't look like he's really moving at all. Uh, maybe a little bit, slowly. construction right there. Here you go guys. And another car heading down the road. Here we go. Okay. This guy's right here. Huh. Pretty dusty. You didn't turn around. So I guess that's a good sign. A lot of activity in Area 51 today. What's your name? All right, see you later. Here's the black mailbox that a lot of people think is the mailbox to Area 51 and that they can put their mail to the aliens that are deep underground in the secret base. But it's actually not Area 51's mailbox at all. It's a local rancher's and they keep messing it up and he has to get new ones. And since this doesn't actually have anything to do with Area 51, we're just gonna move right along. Warning, military installation off limits to unauthorized personnel. Punishment up to one year imprisonment and $5,000 fine. No drone zone. Warning, no trespassing. Unauthorized personnel not permitted beyond this point. Photography of this area is prohibited. Warning, US Air Force installation. another location. This is known as the back entrance and as you can see there are a few more buildings and signs and things around the area that aren't at the front. You can kind of get an idea about what's going on on this side as well. Sometimes there are people here. They do have personnel on the premise at times. There could be someone in these buildings right now. This is it. There's cameras at the top. You can kind of get an idea about that as well. Of course, we're probably being very carefully monitored as we are in such close proximity to this military installation. But we are still on public property right here. We haven't passed this point as it says not to do. So we are still law-abiding citizens as you should be as well if you ever come out this way. It's very important to keep in 
mind that as soon as you cross over that point, you can die. You will get killed if they so choose to do that. So keep that in mind that you don't want to cross that boundary. You'll have a bad time. So it's something that we're glad to be able to share with you guys because there are two entrances that are known, at least down these roads here, and this is the back one. So, as you can see, it goes away back, and of course, even if you ran through, you'd still have to go several miles. So just keep in mind that out that direction, maybe a few dozen miles, we could potentially be dealing with an enormous installation, but it looks like we got someone coming, so let's keep the camera on. Let's get out of here. Could be the camo dudes. Let's find out. Yep, looks like we've got someone in there. Maybe we can get an interview. Well, we got someone. One of the staff, employee. What if they'll let me in, you know? Just want to come in for an interview. I mean, got my permit, you know? Maybe they'll uh, help me get in. Good opportunity for a little action. Well, there's definitely someone there. This time we got out of here, though. Let's head on back. Don't worry. We've got one of them with us. They'll never know. If you liked this video, be sure to check out our other content and get connected on our page and social media sites. Every day, new discoveries are being made all across the world and beyond. So let's work together to find out what's next. And remember, we won't know if we don't go. I'll see you in the Vortex.